Triumph Bonneville. This is a 2050 model and a true British icon. This model we have here is a T100, it's top the line above the standard and the new church edition for the UK market in 2015. This all black version kind of gives you less of the chrome details on the engine case covers, on the bars and the front forks and the parallel twin air cooled engine here uh, we know it is a 865 cc 68 horsepower as well as 68 newton meters of torque I don't think people will be buying this bike for the handling or for its outright performance. You know, it's never going to set the world on fire. The majority of people will go for the looks and the kind of um, classic appeal with this Triumph Bonneville. At the usual kind of a uh, cruising speed, the Bonneville is a nice place to be. This one has the slightly bigger front wheel. Mechanically, it's the same bike, uh, it doesn't matter which version you go for. A twin dial dash is uh, special to the T100, so you've got the rev counter as well as the speedo. Notice the ignition key position. You just have to make sure you don't put anything on the key ring so it doesn't scratch the bars or uh, make a lot of noises. It's not super comfortable, but it's definitely uh, a place where you can travel a couple of hundred miles without feeling too uh, tired. The mirrors are good, the controls are easy to use, so all round this is a very standard, very easy to use bike. The cable operated clutch is uh, nice and easy and the gear change is very smooth. However the front end does feel quite heavy at slower speed, and especially when cornering it takes a while to get used to. It performs well in slow traffic like um, this one here um, but I wouldn't want to live with it day in day out commuting and um, filtering in heavy traffic on this bike. It just feels that, that tiny little bit heavier than um, other bikes uh, that I've test ridden. But it will make a great second bike uh, just for the weekend cruise and um, you know just for the classic uh, looks so perhaps not an everyday bike in my opinion unfortunately for me I didn't connect very well with this bike don't know why but again the Bonneville is not for everyone the ride was certainly interesting but I haven't got that urgency of I want one I like when I test rode the Triumph Tiger 800, it's such a nice bike all round. However, people will be buying this for its great looks and uh, its historical connections with being British and uh, the build quality is generally speaking very good and the exhaust sounds nice. This is the upgraded version and will cost about £300 more than the standard one. They look the same but it sounds a lot better. It pops and um, gives the bike even more sex appeal and the vibration from the engine wasn't that obvious at all. I mean the, the peg and the handlebar and the seat uh, is well cushioned so um, not as vibey as uh, some of the V-twins. Another tiny detail, the petrol cap. Uh, it's not lockable, you've got to pay extra to get a cap that you can uh, lock it with a key. All in all, a very different test ride to what I am, I'm used to. Um, but the guys at uh, Triumph Bulldog, uh, just outside Reading, are very helpful. So if you ever passing Reading area, please give them a visit. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, because I'll be bringing you a lot of videos on test rides and other things interesting. Here's the last detail to notice, you know it's a Triumph dealer.